Hey guys, what's up? It is 3.18 p.m. Tuesday, May 18th, 2021. Alright, so I just finished putting on my highlighter and I got a foundation on, obviously. I never, ever go without wearing foundation. This Milani foundation, I so far love it. But I think it's causing me to have a breakout because right here there's a blemish forming. And uh, I hope that's not the problem because it didn't start coming up until yesterday, which was my first day wearing this. This is the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. And this is a medium to full coverage, lightweight, oil-free formula, long wear, and water resistant foundation. It does not specify whether it has SPF in it, though. So yesterday, since it was ridiculously hot, I put SPF on before that, so I, rec I would recommend you do the same thing if you are, like, into wearing sunscreen with your foundation. I don't think this one has it in there, but I actually haven't looked it up online yet. I kept meaning to, but then I kept forgetting because I have other things on my mind at the moment. I just wanted to try a different foundation. Sorry. And this stuff really is smudge-proof. Like, yesterday... I got something in my eye. I don't know what it was, the foundation or something like that, but it started burning really bad. And uh, it did not go anywhere, like, at all. And I can I can get behind smudge-proof, waterproof products. Like, I really can. I, I don't like regular foundation that's not waterproof. Like, I like the Fenty Beauty Foundation, I like Max Foundation, and now I can say I like Milani, because this one actually does pretty good. Alright, so, I used this, um, Metal Crush Rose Shock, um, highlighter. This is so pigmented, I think it doubles as a highlighter and a blush. I already put it on. I know you can't see very well, this area has worse lighting than over there, but this is where my vanity is now. You think every time I go in Walmart, as much as I do, you think I'd remember to buy some damn light bulbs for that lamp over there. Because that lamp's going to come over here at some point, and, uh, it's going to be for this area. Because it's got one of those, uh, it's a double lamp lamp. It's a floor lamp that has a little reading lamp with it. My kitty's right here. You must have wanted to be beside me. I just wondered where the fuck she was at out of random thought, like, huh? I thought I put her back in here. Alright, so we're gonna get started on eyeliner. You can tell I got quite a selection here, but this isn't entirely just eye products. This is also... I'm gonna try this mini mascara again by Anastasia Beverly Hills, so the mascara is picked. And for eyeliner, I want to try this uh, Green Dose of Colors one, but I know my family will make fun of me because I'm wearing emerald green, but it is my literal birth month. My birthday happened like four days ago or three days ago. No, four days ago. So we're going to try it anyway so they can shut the fuck up. Damn, this is a nice one. Dose of Colors, you really make nice eyeliners, it looks like. Okay, so this is what you do. I do not know anything about this eyeliner. I just know I opened it, threw away the box, and put the eyeliner in there. Like, I threw away a bunch of eyeliners that I, I know I won't use again. And some that have gone bad. So let's see here. I know I need to brush down my brows. I will do that here in a minute.
All right, see? This is what it looks like. This is actually not that bad of a color. I thought it would be like really harsh green, but it's actually like, it actually doesn't hardly look green from a distance. It actually looks like, well, it does look green, but not super green at least, so my family won't say anything about it. The reason I cake on eyeliner is because I sweat a lot during the day, no matter what time of year it is. And uh, I, uh, I just don't want to take the risk of not having any on, like if I go out in public or something like that. I don't carry my eyeliner with me like I used to. I used to carry a mini version of the Kat Von D tattoo ink liner, which I got two of them now, so I probably could, I probably should start carrying it again. Point of it is, even if I didn't wear the Kat Von D one, I could touch up a little bit, like right here, like this. Obviously, I would pull out a little mirror and touch up, and I would also carry a touch up mascara. Okay, so okay. Now I'm gonna brush my brow down, brows down real quick. This right or this left eye gets really bad compared to the right eye. Like, oh my god, I don't think there's... Between the two of them, yeah, that, that one gets worse. And I just stopped it, of course. Here we go. I got it. So we're going to do this. Okay, so I'm going to be using this palette for the first time. This is the Cab Cosmetics eyeshadow palette here. There's plenty of pink in here to use, so I think I'm gonna use Halo, Hey, sorry, Halo and Twinkle, Twinkle and Sunset. But look at these colors, man. These colors are like definitely the beachy type of colors. I don't even know what this palette is called. Does it have a name? Day and Night Eyeshadow Palette. Okay, so this is the color I'll be using for my lid, my crease, and my. Sorry, my brow bone. I had to make sure I was pointing in the right direction. So lid crease and about brow bone. I know I said I was going to use the Kat Von D highlighter, but I wanted to look in here, to be honest, because I actually haven't looked in here yet. Believe it or not, even though I've had this palette for a few days now, I still haven't looked in here like... Damn. I'm a dumbass at times. Excuse my language, but, you know... It is true. Alright. I found stuff in here that I forgot I had. Like, completely forgot. Alright, so... Going in with Halo first for the... Right here. This is not going to be a very visible makeup look, except for the eyeliner. Because it's very... It's not a color I do on the daily, let's put it that way, but it is a pretty color. I like it, so I'm glad I kept it, and I'm glad they sent me a full-size one. I'll tell you the thing I liked the most from Do Dose of Colors, Dose of Colors, I'm sorry, Dose of Colors, was, uh, 
their concealer. And I never really wear concealer that much except for NYX concealer because, I mean, I don't really need it that much. Okay, so now we're doing Twinkle Twinkle. Okay. You okay, Katie? My kitty was walking out of here. I didn't even realize she was back there until I forgot she came over here a few minutes ago. Before I started the video. She likes to be by me for some reason. She watched me eat breakfast today. And I think that was very sweet. So now I'm using the color Sunset. Okay, so, yep. Last thing I'll have to do is spray my face in place, because I always do that. I've been using the One Item um, Dewy Facial Setting Spray. It's also a uh, primer spray as well. Before I do the mascara, because I don't think this mascara is waterproof. So I'm going to grab that and do that real quick, if I can find it. I am so not used to having this set up, like, at all. A shelf beside me with all my palettes on it so I can easily access them. Well, most of them anyways. I promised myself I wouldn't let it get disorganized, but I also break my own promises because I am sometimes just not in the best mood or not feeling the best to do it. I need to put that razor by my sh um, shower caddy. I actually need to put it in my shower caddy. I need a new one. Bad. Okay, so this is what I've been using. The One Hit Prime Set and Refresh 3 Finishing Spray. Don't let the name fool you. It may be dewy finish, but it also works for all skin types. What are you trying to do? Hit yourself in the head? I'm sorry, but no, you can't do that with me. I'll show you. Well, maybe I will. I don't know if I feel like it showing you my cat. She's like my baby. Here we go. I'm gonna put these up real quick. I like this because you never lose the eyeshadow brushes. I don't care how they go in there as long as they're all five in there. And I got more eyeshadow brushes than I thought I did because uh, I looked in my drawer last night and I found a bunch of them. Alright, so the last steps are my Brushing my eyelashes out, mascara, wiping my lips off, and putting something on my lips. 
This is a little tiny Anastasia Beverly Hills mascara. I got this in the beginning of the year, I think. I don't know. There's a video up when I got it. Like when I first got my uh, new Fenty foundation in the shade 130. I think that's it. I don't know if that's the video I got it in. I don't remember. Might have been another video. It's in one of my shopping halls. Shelves. See, I can't even speak today, guys. I'm sorry. My brain is set to wake up way later than usual today. Alright, so one more thing to do after this, and that is use my makeup wipes. I don't know what happened to her. Like, why is she suddenly wanting to be over here? Okay, so this little mascara is the Anastasia Beverly Hills, um, what does it say? Lash Brag Volumizing Mascara. Okay, so we're going to see. This is an incredibly small handle, but this is a big brush. This is like the Too Faced Better Than Sex brush. Which I really like that mascara. That's got to be my all-time, if I had to say I had one favorite, all-time favorite. I'm also waiting on my boxy charm to get here, but I'm also thinking I should log on their website because they might be sending me something extra because it's my birthday website, my birthday month. I'm sorry, my... Did I say boxy charm? I'm sorry. See, my brain is, like, going everywhere right now. Like, duh. Okay. Let's see here. This is like really awkward for me to do. Got myself in the eye. That hurt.
Okay, so we got this done. I need to clean off the tube. Give me one second here. I need to dig out a, a uh, thing first. Make a bite. Duh. I'm going to take this off and the headband off because I don't want to ruin this headband. I like this one. My mom made this one for me out of one of her least favorite ones and some extra sleeping pants material. I don't wear long pants when I sleep in pants if I do. So I, I said since they're holy, why don't you just cut them and make use the excess material for like um let me use it for my dollhouse. And yes, I still play the dollhouses. You can judge me, but I won't give a shit because I don't care. I don't have them out at the moment because I don't got anywhere to put them. But I love them because they are part of my childhood. It was just, as luck would have it, my first one was up here. My very first one I ever got was when I was six. God, it's been about 17 years? No. 16 years. I don't know, somewhere in that time frame, but it also doesn't matter. Since I bought that dollhouse and it is still in one piece, well, my mom bought it for me at a Goodwill for six bucks. And it came with everything it needed a kitchen, a bathroom, a dollhouse family. And I asked her to buy me more. So she found them online, because uh, the one that I had was like like a 90s, late 80s dollhouse, and it is my favorite dollhouse still, like one of the ones I always go to when I'm bored. And there ain't nothing wrong with playing a doll with a dollhouse at my age. It could be worse. I could be doing some shit that is illegal, you know? Like, I'm not going to specify anything. No, really nothing's illegal for me anymore, but I was going to say other things, but you know what I meant. Well, I don't want anyone to think I'm a bad influencer or anything like that. I'm not a bad person at all. I mean, I'm not perfect, but I'm not bad. I don't do that kind of stuff is what I'm trying to say. I never did think it makes anyone look cool. To do the following drugs, say racist words, smoke, drink. I mean, unless you do it like, uh, I don't really know how you say it, like for, I'm just gonna say for like a party, not like a drinking party either. I mean, like, you'll have a cup of wine or a beer or two with a get together with your friends. That's a different story. But doing the other things is unexceptional. Unacceptable. Putting on some chapstick now. I got the cute little uh, Pepsi cans from Five Below. I got a set for me, and my mom, and my sister. And my si my sister still has hers, but my mom didn't want all of hers. She just wanted the Mountain Dew can, so I gave it to her, and she gave me the rest back. I'm using Cherry Pepsi. I wish they had regular Pepsi one again, but I forgot I have one here. It's in a regular lipstick form. I mean, uh, lip gloss. Chastity form. But yeah, that's what I think about doing those kind of things. I think it makes you look as cool, about as cool as being racist, doing drugs. Well, okay, that's what I was literally exampleizing. But it's not cool to do any of those things. But I'm done talking about this. I don't want to be kicked off of YouTube and I don't want my video to be flagged or removed. Because this is strictly a makeup tutorial. I love doing makeup, guys, and I'm going to continue doing it. If I do get kicked off, well, then I'll make another account. There's always another way. Alright, so. This is why I need a lipstick holder, because I got my makeup paste back here, my big one. That is probably the only makeup paste I refuse to part with, like, in general. Hmm. I think I just chose the color, and it's another mini. It's so cute. 
It's the mini NARS, excuse me, Star Woman color. So I'm going to wipe off the chapstick. I'm going to try to do this on the iPod. I hate picking up the mirror and putting it back down in, to organize this area again. Alright, so let's open it. Sorry guys about this shakiness, but I also, I don't really care what you guys think, to be honest. You guys are here to watch me, not my shakiness. Here we go. This is what I need a mirror for. The lining of the lips. Gotta do it one more time. Obviously. It's one thing I like about these liquid lipsticks. They dry fast and they stay put. Also, sorry about my eyes, guys. I have a migraine that I've had since last night. Yeah, I'm putting it up now. Okay, so this is the finished look, and uh, this is what I look like from this side and this side. I like that foundation a lot. Like, I'm, ow, that hurt. Cut my finger now too short on my thumb, but I'm beginning to like that a lot. So, I might actually buy the concealer that matches it, or I buy a different shade because this one, this foundation seems to be going really well, and it really is too much proof. Sorry, I'm trying to put this up. While I talk, there we go, that'll work, um, but yeah, this is me, and I love the fact that I didn't have to put on the stupid, uh, sunscreen today, it's not really stupid, it's just, it burned my eyes out yesterday really bad, anyway, it is now, um, 3.47pm, um, if you're new, please subscribe, but other than that, have a wonderful day. Well, subscribe anyway. Peace. Bye.